Hello friends. Um, I thought I'd send you a, a video, at least so you could uh, see the forensic evidence of the deterioration that's occurred since we first met uh, nearly 50 years ago in 1962. First of all, um, let me say a big thank you to John and Di for arranging this uh, reunion and I have to say how sorry I am I can't make it and meet you again. Um, and many thanks to David and Julia for putting me in touch with John. It's, I suppose, uh, made me think a bit about that time long ago when we were together at King's and various things come back. I'm very uh, struck over the years how some people have somehow registered in my mind. I suppose one of them, although I wasn't that interested in the end in what he uh, taught us, was uh, Victor Gold. He remains very much in my memory and I'm, I'm very grateful to him. There's something about his style that I admired no end. Another person who I realise has been a, a very beneficial influence was George Wilkinson in the physics department. It's funny, my career now combines what you might call chemical physics and deeply embedded software in mission critical and safety critical applications of gas sensing. So it's a very nice combination of uh, spectroscopy and that sort of thing and uh, embedded software and uh, apart from George I suppose one thing that really has been life-changing for me I now realize was that, that lovely course that we did with Hermann Bondi in the summer of 1964 where I think he made me realize that an altogether more mathematical approach somehow went with my grain. Yes. So that's the way things have turned out really. You know, I did my doctorate in um, quantum mechanics and you know, mathematical calculations and so on. Um, I suppose uh, there's not really much to say except that I'm still working I've had my own business for a long time, since 1976 with partners and now more recently just on my own. Um, it worked out pretty well really because I was allergic to work in a large corporation, I now realise. Um, seem to have uh, had a pretty busy domestic life. I've got, uh, all my children are grown up, I have three sons and three daughters and various eight grandchildren and um, I've got three stepdaughters and a stepson so I'm I'm still very involved with the lives of young people and uh, that's meant that I've become outraged for example at the way the younger generation are treated over issues like uh, university fees and these the heavy uh, costs of actually paying for a course that we did not suffer. It seems so unjust. Still, I'll get off my hobby horse and uh, just say, well, I'm, I'm very sorry to, to have missed you all and I hope you have a very good time and do keep in touch. So, goodbye friends. <laughs>